During qualification for the 1983 Youth World Cup, I was uh, 15. Uh, so for me, I know I made, I even made the team in sort of a strange way. I came in a tryout. Coach Manfred Shellshite invited me on a tryout. Um, I didn't really know I was trying out. I just thought I was coming in uh, to practice with the national team because they happened to be in New Jersey at the time. And uh, so I came in, I practiced with them, and at the end of that week was when they asked me what I thought about possibly being on the team. Uh, it was a shock to me. Obviously, I was really surprised um, that, you know, because of my age, that I would even be considered. I, I never really gave it a thought as I was training with the team for that whole week. It was amazing for me to be able to train with older players. So that, that's why at that point, I never even gave it a thought that they might be looking at me as a potential player for the team. Um, I guess I did well that week and, and the coaches thought that I could bring something um, and make the team better and, uh, and they selected me for the qualifiers and the qualifiers were four weeks later. I do remember exactly when we were here because Mexico is such a beautiful country, there's great people here, the treatment is amazing and soccer is so important in this country so um, I, I remember exactly the impact that it had on me playing the U20 World Cup here. I do remember that I had my nose broken with an elbow in that game. We played, I think it was Ivory Coast, second game, and that game was here in Puebla. We did get the win. Unfortunately, we went on in the third game to lose to Poland, uh, and, and we didn't go through. So that was disappointing because I, I thought we had a pretty good team. It helped me a lot because it, would, it drew attention a little bit, to, obviously to me, but to the sport in general because I was a younger player and I had made it to this team somehow. and. It helped me to get through the next few steps until I got on the World Cup team in 1988. I value my experience with the U20 national team uh, because it was the beginning and it became really very important for the rest of my career. And I, and I want to make sure that the players who are here that they recognize um, that this will have a big impact. I, I know that they won't be able to fully understand because they're younger players and you know I remember being in that world and it's certainly not the same as being an adult later on. But, uh, but we're doing the best we can to make sure that, that they understand that, that this is really important for them. I know that my dreams at the time were just to, to play soccer and to, to be a professional player. What's happened after has been so much more rewarding. The fact that I've been able to stay involved you know, with U.S. soccer um, and, and with soccer in general. Everybody that's around us in our camp and our staff knows that, that we're all fully dedicated to this and we have a lot of pride and, and working for U.S. soccer and in, and in coaching the national team. In this case, uh, with this particular team, is you know, it's not a whole lot different than being a father, really. You know, you, you, I've been through this experience before, and what I want to make sure that what happens with this team and with these players is the fact that whatever happens over the next few days, over the next week, over the next ten days, um, they will remember forever. And I know for a younger player, that's that's something that's way too big to take in. Um, but that's why from a coaching standpoint and as far as our staff is concerned, we're working 24-7 to make sure that when our players step on, step on the field that they're, they're as prepared as they can be. And you know, hopefully that, that will lead to good things for us and, and you know, we're confident that it will. Um, but the important part is that we do all we can so that we can provide these, these couple weeks here in Mexico. We can provide an experience that they'll remember forever in a positive way and hopefully with good results.